Orkney goose shooting principle is simple. You blend into the Orkneys. The decoy geese look more like geese than geese do, and when the real geese come, you shoot. It's quite good fun, isn't it? Actually, I've got to be honest. It's, uh, yeah, fabulous. Like, they like um, they come in like aeroplanes as they come in. Peter is here with a group from the Capriolus Club, a gang of mainly London-based deer stalkers. They have flown here to go goose shooting. The Orkney Islands have become, in the last 20 years, a wildfowl paradise. It's difficult to know, isn't it, when you've got four guns all shooting as to whether you're responsible for the shot or not, whether we're all aiming at the same bird or not. But, uh, I'm, I'm, saying, we, we I'm had, saying we all hit the same bird. Yeah. <laughs> we hit two out of the last um, flock. and. Uh, yeah, that's quite good because we're only getting started, so I'm quite happy with that. Of course, you've got us a little bit out of our comfort zone here, haven't we? Being deer stalkers, normally. Goose guide Steve Rogers is looking after the Capriolis Club group. I chat to him in front of a field of Orkney geese. Uh, they'd be grey lag geese, which is the, the main ones here. Um, we've got a resident population of conservative guests, would be around 12 to 15,000. Uh, and at Best, I think the migrants peaked a few years back at around 60,000. So they're a big problem for the local farmer. Oh, look, they've all taken off. Yep, they're up. It's not an amazing sight. Beautiful. Something that never tires. Yeah, love it. Just watch it. I could watch it day in, day out, all day. You've got the grey lags here. Do you have other species here as well? We, there is a few barnacles about. Um, we get the occasional white front up in the north of the isles. And pink feet migrate through as well. We get a few few pinks stop, but the majority of them pass on through onto the mainland. The geese here, when they're eating, they, they pull the grass by the roots as opposed to just nibble off like livestock does. When they're they're pulling it up and they're paddling it in, you can see black areas on the field um, where they've actually made the mess from that. Obviously, that with such a short growing period and such a short summer up here, the, the grass is essential for the farmers to feed the livestock on. With all the geese damage done. Um, plus the mess that they leave behind, um, you know, there's, there's a serious problem up here for the, for the farmer. The islands, as well as their geese, have a profound effect on our guns. Here is Capriolis Club member James Schneider. It's a very unique experience. Uh, I, the shooting's been excellent and uh, you know, the accommodation I mean, was very nice. Uh, it's, it, the barrenness is something that really I find incredible, you know, just the it's a, a very extreme landscape in that sense, but uh, uh, very dramatic in terms of the birds flying. It's, it's lovely. Steve devotes his life at this time of year to geese. His day starts early. He is out before first light, setting up decoys and hides, giving his guest guns the best chance he can. Um, the, the idea of a morning shoot is to you get the decoys out to encourage the, um, the geese onto the feeding fields from where they've been roosting at night, try and get them into range for shooting. There's a few patterns that we use, like a, a, a smiley face, um, a gentle curve. Uh, my favourite one would be, if, obviously with the wind behind you, it would be two groups, one, in, one to the left, one to the right, um, with a bit forming a little bit of a horseshoe um, with a nice big kill zone in the middle. As for hide building, he doesn't go for the kind of plastic or aluminium kit you buy in shops. 12mm reinforcing bar, it works a treat up here. Um, but no, it just the best thing for geese is keep it natural, keep it simple, but keep it plenty of cover and uh, keep, keep still. Steve is big on calls. He has a call for every Orkney occasion. His greylag call is the grubbiest. They'd be the three main ones for the grey legs. With the pinks going through more rapidly each season, that call is newer looking. Um, with the pinks, they get either a, a wink wink or a, or a, uh, a wink wink wink, um, is the best way to explain it really. Can you do it? So, yeah, sure. <coughs> Watch him in action in a hide and you can see how useful these calls are. Got grey lag calls and pink foot geese calls. Um, they all help to give the decoys that we've got out a bit of uh, backup and help call the geese in. Little and often. I, I like to, it, it's all about reading the geese. Um, if the geese aren't talking, then don't talk back. Um, 
there is guys out there that do a lot of calling, but I, I just prefer to keep it simple and keep it minimal. Them, Steve provides all the guns you will need for your trip. When he bought the goose guiding business, he decided not to take on the previous owner's guns. He'd got everything from the Brownings, Berettas, Benelli's uh, and the Winchesters. Um, and in the uh, previous three years that I'd worked for him, he'd had nothing but problems with all of them other than the Winchester, which is why I chose to go for them. Um, so I invested in uh, 15 um, autos, most of them camo, either SX3 and SX4 models, and can't fault any of them. They're easy to use for the clients. Um, we get clients up that uh, haven't always used a semi-auto, so they um, there's no fiddly buttons, there's no messing around. The the safety catch is a decent size on them, so it's, there's no messing. You know when it's on, you know when it's off, um, and they're just easy to work. Uh, stripped down, they're easy to clean and maintain, uh, which is always an advantage when um, it's been a long day. You've still got to clean everything at night, so you've got half a dozen to do. It's if they're easy, then it um, saves a bit of time. The Capriolis Club is getting on with the guns and getting the hang of goose shooting. So what is the Capriolis Club? It evolved organically out of uh, county deer stalking. And basically it was uh, uh, designed for deer stalkers and actually those that sort of hunt large game as well. And it was designed specifically for them. But of course, we're not just deer stalkers, we do a bit of shooting as well. And that's why we come along on these sort of occasions for, for, for goose and duck. We, we have a lot of our membership sort of southeast, a lot of city workers, a lot of people that live in London, because quite honestly, they, can't, they find it very difficult to access land and shooting. And really what we're there to do as a club is to help facilitate uh, uh, shooting for those guys and girls that otherwise wouldn't be able to get it. And do you also help out with... Um, there's geese, bloody geese everywhere. <laughs> do, do, do you also help out with their farm certificates? Do you, do you... Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's certainly a benefit, undoubtedly, because, you know, anyone that tries to get a farm certificate will know that uh, land approval is a fundamental thing of, of owning a firearm. Unlike with a shotgun, perhaps, you have to show that due diligence uh, in, in obtaining land permission to get it and that's something again that we can facilitate for our members. Now Orkney is a long way even from most of Scotland. Steve recommends you come to the island for at least three days of shooting. Some of the club's members are well heeled to the point of having their own aircraft. If you have a private jet do you use it to go to some boring meeting? No, far better to go to the Orkneys. So that's what they have done. Uh, re really great fun. Yeah, fortunately, uh, you know, some of our members are, uh, are lucky enough to have these sort of uh, uh, me means of travel and, uh, and they're passionate about shooting. And uh, for goodness sake, why not use it? It's a great way of coming straight into the Orkneys as well, because, uh, you know, within an hour and a half, we're, we're here and we can make the most of the, what has been absolutely some fabulous goose shooting. I am only with them for a full day's shooting and the evening holds the promise of more geese and some duck. This evening will be around uh, a fed pond which we feed every day um, for a mixture of uh, geese and duck. What species of duck have you got here? Um, everything's wild, we've got teal, widgeon, mallard, uh, they're the, the main mainstay of things. Um, there's also shovelers, tufted, pintail, uh, golden eye. I'm hopeful of a good evening, yep. Um, it, ma it makes the hard work that we put in feeding um, every day and running around like idiots makes it all worthwhile when it does go well. The moon's up, so it may affect it a little bit, but we've got a wind, we've got some cloud cover, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, the geese could come from any direction. Um, they'll be out on the feeding fields. Uh, depending on where they're feeding through the day, as long as they weren't disturbed. Um, they'll be on possibly the same fields that they went to this morning. Um, what about the duck? The Take duck, the they'll come from any direction as well. Uh, we'll get a lot come from behind, um, but I would say the mainstay will come from the front. When the duck come, they come in numbers, and the guys find it easier to shoot in the lengthening darkness than they expected. It's a huge success and includes, for Peter, 
a very special goose. So we had some terrific shooting. It's very, very difficult to gauge, Charlie. Uh, you know, when, when the light is dropping, and this was happening last night, it's very, very difficult to gauge distance. And um, so whether you're shooting at something at 30 yards or 60 yards, uh, when it's a little dark dot against the grey sky is uh, somewhat difficult to tell. But you got it. Well, I, I, I certainly got one of them, so uh, <laughs> that's enough for me. No, we've had a terrific time and, uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. All the meat from this shoot is used thanks to Craigie's Butchers on the island. If you would like to see how to breast a goose, click on the link top right or in this film's description. For more about Orkney shooting holidays, look for its page on Facebook.